Hi, my name is Lisa Richardson and I'm one of the 2014 AMS Phoenix Fellows. I'm here to tell you a little bit about my project and my work for the AMS Phoenix. Um, my project is involved in integrating teaching about cultural safety into undergraduate medical education. And in order to explain how I've come into this work, I think it's important to situate myself as a healthcare provider. I practice as a general internal medicine specialist at the University of Toronto in the Faculty of Medicine. My personal background is as a physician of Anishinaabe ancestry on my mother's side and European ancestry on my father's side. So I've grown up living between worlds and worldviews and trying to reconcile them in a sense. And I see my job in medical education and in healthcare to try to bring worlds together for other people. The specifics of the project are that we want every single medical student who graduates from our Faculty of Medicine to have an understanding of Indigenous history and of the current state of health of Indigenous peoples. And from that, to understand how they as a healthcare provider um, can help address the in current inequities that exist for Indigenous peoples in our healthcare system. And one of the critical components of health equity is that patient, Indigenous patients feel safe when they seek healthcare and enter healthcare institutions. But we know from many studies, both qualitative as well as survey studies, that Indigenous peoples across Canada often feel unsafe. In fact, worse than that, they experience racism and certainly that leads to significant health inequities because you're less likely to seek health care if you're feeling that you're not um, well cared for when you're in a health care institution. Cultural safety is a concept which is different from cultural awareness in which you know that there are recognized there are cultures that are different from oneself. Um, cultural competence um, implies that the practitioner has a skill set in understanding how to interact with people of other cultures. Cultural safety takes this concept to another extreme in that the cultural, the healthcare provider must understand the power dynamic that exists in the interaction between a patient and the physician. Um, that power dynamic has to do with the privilege that one has of being a healthcare provider. Um, and the fact that many patients who come in are vulnerable, no matter what their backgrounds are, just by virtue of being in a state of ill health, they become more vulnerable if you don't know about the healthcare system. And so a, a culturally safe healthcare provider understands those power dynamics. Cultural safety is all about the patient defining what a safe and good interaction is. So it's a transition from the uh, power, in fact, from the healthcare provider to the patient and to the relationship. So the healthcare provider becomes accountable to the relationship with the patient. Particularly, of course, this is important for Indigenous patients, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis patients, but as you can imagine, this is a concept that is relevant for every single patient who enters a healthcare environment.